Good morning, dear students. Welcome to our online class. At present, I am in seventh standard social study class. So, in this class, we have to understand about. Uh, in previous class, we already understand about the women freedom fighters of Karnataka. Who were the prominent women participated in the uh, Indian freedom struggle? So, five important major personalities were participated in the. Freedom struggle of India from Karnataka. Here, the first one, Rani Abaka, we already completed there. The second one, Balar Siddhama, we already completed. And third one, Kamala Devi Chattopadhyaya, also completed in previous class. Now, it is a time to understand the major contributions of Ishudharamma Dasapa. First, I am going to start this. Uh, before I am going to start this concept about uh, the major contributions of Ishudharma Dasappa, we should know about the duration of period. She was uh, living on uh, 1905 to 1980. It is the duration time. It is a duration time of Ishudharma Dasappa. So, let's start about the information about Ishudharma Dasappa here. Yashodharma was the freedom fighter, but here Dasapva, Dasapva was the name of her husband. You should know, understand about that. Both are, Yashodharma and Dasapva, both are the social worker, are the social uh, reformers. In this concept we have to understand here. So, first let's start the early life of Yashodharma. Yashodharma was born in Bangalore on May 28, 1905. May. She was born on May 28. May 28 in the year of 1905 at Bangalore. So, Bangalore is the birthplace of Ashwadharma and when she was born, she was born on May 28 and 1905. And who were the parents of Ashwadharma? Here, uh, Ramaya, Ramaya and Revama. Here, just you have to understand, Ramaya, Ramaya and Revama. Ramaya and Revama. In that textbook, they are given a different uh, spellings of the Ramaya. But here, Ramaya and Revama were the parents of Ashwadharma. Here, what they are doing? That means, what are the work of the Ramaya and Revama? Here, her father was a social reformist. Here, Ramaya was the social reformist. And one, one more point we have to understand. After finishing uh, her primary education at Bangalore, uh, he finished an intermediate in Madras at Queen Mary's College. He completed his primary education in Bangalore and he finished, uh, he, she finished uh, her uh, intermediate education in Madras in which college? Queen Mary College. J and then on returning from Madras, she was married to Dasapa, the third son of Roy Saheb Channaya. In the year of 1926, in the year of 1926, she got married with Dasapa. Who was Dasapa? Dasapa was the third son, third son of Roy Saheb Channaya. When, uh, when Ishwadharma got married, in marriage, she got married in 1926. Then uh, what about Dasappa? Dasappa was, was one of the social worker. Here, she also interested in social working and uh, he also worked, she also, he also uh, interested in social working. That's why both are the Two faces of same coin. Understand? The next point we have to understand here. Uh, they are, both are influenced by Gandhiji. Gandhiji thoughts, non-violence, truth, 
non violent truth and uh, violent you those are the weapons satyagraha here gandhi ji has three weapons truth non violence and satyagraha these things very attracted by the dasapa and nashodharma that's why they were uh, participated in in the freedom struggle the next point we have to understand she also participated in the struggle of my uh, integrity pravian states who started that do you know about that the integrity pravians of uh, princely states started by the one of the iron man of india sardar vallabhai patel just started that in that uh, struggle she also participated participated with her husband the next point we have to understand even though her husband hc dasappa contested the elections for mysore state assembly and won under the praja samyukta party which party he stand still standing still election of hc dasappa hc dasappa contested in elections of mysore state assembly and won under the praja samyukta party and one more point we have to understand in this time ashodharma remained in congress she participated in the shivapura Sat flag satyagraha in 1938 1938 it is one of the unforgettable year in the life of ashodharma why because there is a reason the britishers enraged in that struggle which incident that year happened that is none other than that is shivapura flag flag uh satyagraha happened in the year 1938 and one more point we have to understand she also started jwale is the most important point jwale is the newspaper article written by written by ashodharma dasappa for what reason she wrote that jwale article in the newspaper because she also encouraging the people of karnataka and the people of india against the administration of britishers so through his small service of ashodharma contributed to india very lot the next time finally we have to understand in the year of 1947 uh, she became an M uh, mla and also mp okay these two post he managed she managed in the year of uh, 1947 and one more special point we have to understand that is she was one of the social welfare minister uh, under the chief minister of s nijalingappa s nijalingappa when he, he was the chief minister of karnataka at the time in his cabinet she had the minister seat that is social welfare minister and last and finally we have to understand that is she was died in the year of 1980 so it is the brief concept about ashodharma dasappa dear students i hope you understood very well about these information belongs to ishodharma dasappa in the last period next period we have to understand about umabhai kundapur okay thank you